We are talking about modern families across the country and looking what a family looks like in 2023. The cultural landscape has been shifting for years. Over 16% of households in America are blended families. Same sex households have nearly doubled since legalization to almost 1 million nationwide. And a new study shows that one in three adults have used fertility treatments or you know someone who has. And while the traditional, and I say that in quotes, family still makes up the majority of households the amount of non-traditional families has been growing exponentially in recent years. And today we're going to hear some of their incredible stories. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Very exciting. All right. So up first, we're going to talk about polyamory. In basic terms, polyamory is a form of consensual non-monogamy. This could include things like an open marriage, which we have all heard of at least once. And while this seems unusual to most, there are millions of people in America in polyamorous relationships relationships and we have some experts on the lifestyle here to tell us all about it. So joining us now, she's the founder of Progressive Love Academy and author of several books, including Change Your Man. Not only that, she's in an open relationship with not one husband, but two, two husbands. So here to talk all about the poly life, please welcome Kenya K. Stevens and her partners, Carl and Tiger. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, welcome. So Thanks nice to have you. So Kenya, you are in an open marriage with both Carl and Tiger. So what led you to this lifestyle and creating Progressive Love Academy? Well, Carl and I have been married for 27 years and I've been married to Tiger for 10 years. And so what we're doing has started a long time ago, over 25 years ago. And I think it started when I actually had a bout with cancer and I felt like my life was on the line. And at that time, I decided that I'm going to live for me. You understand if I were to survive, which I did, thank God, because we have three children. I said I was going to live for me. And we started to work together to formulate um, a new kind of marriage, an open marriage, a marriage where there's more freedom. And we call it actually a freedom based relationship. Mm, that's smart. <laughs> that's interesting. All right. Let me ask you something. What was it about monogamous relationships that didn't work for you? And, and how really how is monogamy limiting for you guys? Well, you know, monogamy, we think is great for people who are going to choose to be with one partner. I think it's wonderful. We found the culture of monogamy to be the issue. Mm. So in most monogamous marriages, you don't have real trust. People really can't tell each other how they really feel or what they really want to do. That's why you have the, the high cheating rate. This is people who are not able to really trust their partner and to communicate what they really feel, what they really want. So we didn't like the culture of monogamy, mm. but we feel people want to be exclusive with their partner. It's a great option. So I need to ask Carl and Tiger here, and I think a lot of people at home want to know, how do you handle jealousy? Can you learn to just flip a switch on and off? It's not so much a flipping the switch on and off. You just kind of learn um, utilizing tools on what feels appropriate and what may be a little extreme. Um, we're always in that moment of feeling jealousy and the moment of, you know, I don't want my partner to do this or, you know, this makes me feel a certain way. Uh, once you start to really adjust and to learn what those feelings are, you kind of open up a little bit at a time until you finally get to a point where you are able to allow your partner to have experiences that before you would never allow them to have. Carl, do you agree with, with Tiger? Oh, yeah, 100 percent. You know, when I first had the jealous feelings when we opened our relationship, I had to ask myself, why am I feeling this way? Like, what, what's the source of me feeling this way? And I found out that I had a lot of misplaced, you know, um, you know, I guess priorities in terms of where I placed my manhood and where I placed my self-worth and self-love. And I had that all placed in how I would appear to be in society relative to my wife, Kenya, and whether she was loyal to me or monogamous to me and that kind of thing. And that doesn't really define who I am. So I had to really deal with, you know, loving myself more, you know, really understanding who I was as an individual. And once I kind of started resolving those types of things, it was, wasn't really as challenging to allow and to accept that other people were going to live their lives and they feel how they, how they feel. Beautiful. I mean, you guys are taking the ego right out of it. I, I don't know if I could do that. I wouldn't even be able to let my wife be with someone named Tiger. I'd be like, no, <laughs> it's Bob or nobody. <laughs> I think you could do it. I think 
what we do is is we uh, you know we teach this nationwide worldwide we share these techniques and principles with thousands of couples all over the world through progressive love academy and you're saying I just can't. But that's what everyone says when they start. And then they learn how to live an authentic life, learn how to tell the truth, learn how to embrace the truth of others. Yeah, your honesty is refreshing. Uh, this one is for Kenya. How open is your relationship? Is everyone allowed to see other people? Are there rules or boundaries? Tell us. Oh, everyone in my relationships are allowed to see other people. And I don't like the word allowed because we're all really human adults. You know, slavery's over. We're allowed to do whatever we want. So yes, as adults, all three of us have outside partners as well as our marriage here with the three of us. Any rules quickly? Um, we have four principles. We believe rules are for fools. We, we don't <laughs> believe in a philosophy of rules. You know, well, rules are meant to be broken. So we've never created rules, but we do have principles by which we live. So I have, we have four of them if you want to know what they are. I don't know if we have time. Do we have time for the four principles quickly? Can you just list them? Absolutely. No shame and no blame. No victims and no villains. No cop-outs and no dropouts. And the purpose of our relationship is growth. G-R-O-W-T-H. There you go. Thank wow. you, Kenya, Carl, and Tiger. It has been amazing hearing about your lifestyle and telling the world your story. DBL Nation, follow Kenya at Progressive Love Academy, or maybe check out one of her 12 books, oh incredible, God. by the way, that she has written at ProgressiveLoveAcademy.com. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.